Peace everyone, and thank you for coming back. Do you think, our loving creator, has sent his prophets with different messages, to different corners of the world in order to teach each one of us, different rules, and regulations, so we can dispute with each other, and kill each other in the name of religion? Don't you think that would make our creator a wicked creator? Therefore, obviously something is wrong. According to the scientifically proven Arabic Quran, based on mathematics, the exact science, all of these Buddhism, Hinduism, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, and other 4,200 so called religions, are fake, false, and man made. This was the first horrendous crime that we committed against the Almighty in history. That is why we are all hating and killing each other in the name of religions. Because, we have disturbed, our creator's balance, that is why, we are suffering from these disasters all around the world. In scientifically proven Arabic Quran, the Almighty calls all those so called religions, which we have fabricated all these years, as, the parties. And he says, the only religion accepted by him, is submission. The religion of the nation of Abraham. Or, he says, you must be a fool. If you turn away from the religion of Abraham. Please do not make a mistake, we are not talking about Jews, whom by mistake they call themselves, children of Israel, which is, totally a nonsense claim. Because, those misled translators, changed it that way. Yet, Bani, Ezra, Eel, means, the sons who will be transported by the Almighty. And that would be, from the time of Abraham, to the end of the world. Then our Creator informed us, that all of those fabricated books of, Mishnah, Gemara, and the books of what he saw, son of Mayam, said, and did, and how this, Sunnah, and Sharia laws, are all made by human devil, and Shaitan, besides Allah's scriptures. Yet, majority of the people preach, and follow from these books, instead of Allah's, scriptures. This was the second crime. And the third crime was when we translated those scriptures for other people, in different languages. As I have mentioned before, each word in Arabic, Hebrew, and Aramaic language, has several meanings. And when you look them up in dictionary, miraculously, Allah intervenes and inspires you with the correct meanings, through his Ru, or angels. Because, Allah is the only teacher of the scriptures, not your preachers, nor those teachers of the schools of theology, nor those translators. So, we must stop doing whatever we are doing, and stop following people, preachers, and religious leaders, and look for the untouched message of Allah, on internet, and start studying the Arabic Quran and translate it for ourselves, in order to be protected and happy in this world, and in the hereafter. Because religion is for individuals, and that is the only highway, to heaven. So, we must worry about our own neck. Somehow Allah willed, that at this time, everything around us, should be controlled by two numbers, zero and one. The binary numbers. We get up in the morning by zero and one. Our water, electricity, gas, automobile, traveling, communications, banking, and computers, are all controlled by binary numbers. That is why, the Almighty gave us the knowledge of building computers, in order to reveal to us his mathematical miracles in the Arabic Quran, through computer. And now, the scientifically proven Arabic Quran, based on mathematics, has been purified from many distortions, despite other scriptures, and it has proved to us, that the Arabic Quran, without the doubt, is the only untouched message from our creator. There are 1500 pages of scientific reports available, which has been revealed by the Almighty Allah, so far. Yet, 40 years passed already, and all the leaders in the world, and their media, and the ones who claimed the Arabic Quran, have decided to ignore, and reject, these awesome mathematical miracles. As we are all witnessing, disasters are coming down on them, almost daily. And these disasters are not going to stop, as long as these people, 
hide, and reject the miracles of the Almighty, Allah. Couple of weeks ago, we were all witness those killings in Paris, in the name of those fake religions. One of the shooter was saying, that, you people, have been killing, our innocent, wives, and children, with your guns, drones, and missiles, almost every day. So, we just wanted to let you taste of, what you have been doing to our countries. And the leaders of so many nations, came to Paris, and march on the street of Paris. Yet, these leaders, are, the ones, who are killing people and journalists all around the world, in the name of freedom of speech, and some of them are even, war criminals. Yet, they show us that they are passionate and caring people. That is why no one talks about them. Because, there are those average people that we have all around the world. They are the ones who have been paralyzed by these leaders, through their media, and they are the ones who follow these leaders blindly. They were those four million who marched in the streets of France, and they were chanting, Je suis Charlie. That means there are four million people in France who have been following those leaders, like sheep. Therefore, their banners should have said, Je suis Mouton. I am a sheep. That was a yardstick for the leaders, in order to find out how many of their people have been paralyzed by their media in France. That is called politics. Someone made a banner for those leaders, which it said, I am hypocrite. It seemed like, the ones who call themselves, Muslim. They carried a banner, which said, I am, Muhammad. And then, French people were carrying a banner, said, I am Charlie. When nations, forget about their creator, and follow their own conjectures, this would be the result. For about 90 years, the first world countries have been ripping off, and controlling those third world countries, and now is the payback time. Do not forget, that the reason those third world nations have been suffering from disasters, all these years, is because, they have been following from those satanic books, and from those rabbis, preachers and mullahs, instead of the almighty Allah and his scriptures. Here is an awesome fact, which is so sad, but it is the truth. The only ones, who are benefiting from terrorism, are those manufacturers of drones, missiles, guns, and Hollywood, and those TV series. Now, the Arabic word, rape, and the word, shak, meaning, doubt, suspicion, skepticism, uncertainty, and hesitation. These words have been repeated few times in the Arabic Quran, referring to its text. And it says, that this Arabic Quran, is, without, a doubt, a revelation from the Almighty. Or, it says, people have, doubt, about Allah's revelations. Also there is another Arabic word, called, avajar, meaning, inclination, flexibility, change, alteration, replacement, transformation, turning into forms, deviation, crookedness, distortion, and detour. And the or yes says, the Arabic Quran, without, any deviation, and change, that you may protect yourselves. And all of these meanings, are telling us, that, we should not change, and translate the Arabic Quran for other nations. For about 1400 years, up to 40 years ago, the readers of the Arabic Quran, were not supposed to have any doubt about the Arabic Quran, and they should have just accepted Allah's word, only by faith. And faith, means, believing in something without any proofs. Then, forty years ago, the Almighty, Allah revealed to us, that why, we should not have, any doubt, about the text of the Arabic Quran. That was when the Almighty showed us his mathematical miracles in the Quran, which purified the Arabic Quran from all of those distortions, and proved to us, that no one can write a book with such an excellent literary composition, combined with interlocking mathematical composition. So pan Allah. Now we have the scientific proof, based on mathematics, that the Arabic Quran, without a doubt, is the purified, and untouched, message of Allah, among other distorted scriptures. Here is another hikmat from the Almighty, Creator. In Zura 2, 
or yeah, 189, we read. They ask you, about the first of the month. Say, they provide a timing device for the people, and also for Hajj pilgrimage. And indeed it is not righteous to come to houses from their back doors. But, the righteous, is one who protect himself, and come into the houses, from their main doors. Therefore, protect yourselves according to Allah's rules, that you may be successful. There are a couple of stories about this or yeah? One of them, is, that, at the time of Prophet Muhammad, there was a custom, that at the time of four sacred months of Hajj, which people were supposed to enter, into the sacred house, for Hajj pilgrimage. But, so called Jews, and Christians, during those four months, they would not enter their own houses from the front door, and instead, they would enter it from the back door. Until the four months of Hajj pilgrimage was over, they were saying, during four sacred months, people should only enter to the Beitol Haram, meaning, the sacred house. That was why, they would not enter their own houses from their main door. And they were going through the back door, during those four sacred months. The other story is coming from, illiterate, perverted, mullahs. Which they related to sex, and type of sexual intercourse. Also, some translators, they just translated as, do not beat around the bush. But, if you pay attention to this or yeah, you would find these four key words, as, the first of the month, timing device, hajj pilgrimage, and house. Now, we question, which pilgrimage? The answer is, the pilgrimage, of the house. Then, which house? The house of, Kabe? Therefore, the main theme of this or yeah, is, beginning of the lunar month, timing device, and pilgrimage to the sacred house. Before the revelation of the Arabic core on to Prophet Muhammad, the nation of Ibrahim, or, the ones who are calling themselves, Jews and Christians, used to observe the Hajj of the house of, Can, on. And that was the old name for, Kabe. They would go to Hajj, on 7th, 11th, 12th, and 1st months of the lunar year. Yet, the correct months are the 12th, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd months of the lunar year. That means, people used to enter the house of Kaaba in a wrong time. The word, Ahel, Lat, means the beginning of the month. Which is just a few days of the beginning of the new moon. That means, during those four sacred months, you may observe your Hajj pilgrimage, only few days, of the beginning of those four lunar months. That is the only time, that you may enter the sacred house, in a righteous manner. Also, if you pay attention to this picture, you would see, that the phases of the moon, is like, an opening, and closing a door. Thank the Almighty, Allah for his unending hikmat. Although, we are all have been paralyzed, by media, to the point, that we do not know who created us from ejected semen, yet, every once in a while, the Almighty, creator of the nature, gives us some warnings through his angels, the drivers of the wind. And he reminds us, that he is the one who is in full control. And he gives us the taste of, being completely paralyzed, by just redirecting the winds, through his angels. That was how, couple of days ago, he paralyzed some people, in New York area, through his nature. Happiness is submission to the rules of our landlord. Thanks to the Almighty, Creator, for his unending knowledge. Until the next tape, peace.